this fire that you see before you that's sitting here on top of this cross section of some very wet and very rotting pine with some very resinous wet pine on top and sticks found on the ground sandwiched in between was started with a tea light candle. A tea light candle, just like this. It's bone, too fine. <laughs> and the dogs are going in the background, don't you love it? Yep, got out here decided to make a fire using just a tea light candle. And the only modification I did was to take the little tin part off the bottom for maximum melting of the wax into all wet stuff to see if it would work. The reason why I did this here little test is, well, to help further my knowledge and testing my skills a bit. The scenario is I'm out there in the woods and, well, <laughs> an overnighter or three day or whatever it is and I really forgot to pack some stuff. I didn't have any fire starting material and of course it rained through the night and I want to get me a fire going the next day. You know you gotta have that camp coffee you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a vital necessity. But I didn't have no cotton balls, no jute twine, didn't have anything else with me that was fire startable to help me burn wet wood. Just a tea light candle and that's the whole purpose of this here test. It works. Just out here doing a little practice, playing around with the ideas of 
trying to start wood and keep it burning with wet stuff and of course now the secret is the bigger the fire the better chance you're gonna have to dry that wet stuff out and that's always good to know that's why we got all that wood piled up all the smoke just a smoking mm-hmm that old bones here by the way we we've been popping firecrackers and just having a good old time and uh celebrating the fact it's new years and the fact that well we got the old glory there flying in the background it done got a little chilly got my jacket on but anyway hope y'all had fun watching this video hope you found some of it kind of educational but the point is is that if you get an opportunity to sit there and do some practicing always keep your practicing going on because when you think you know it all hmm, ask him he knows it all I know nothing that proved my point Till next time this is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Man Land <clears throat> y'all be good now you hear